Hey guys, what is up? Well, here you go. What you've been waiting for. What happens when we run into a blitzing lunatic? What happens when we play a blitzing lunatic with multiple golden tickets? <laughs> and here we are. I'm going to be blitzed pretty much virtually every single down. He's going to mostly be playing 4-6, um, I believe, and blitzing out of that. So no big dime 1-4-6. And when I run into that, I'll post that as well. But, you know, one blitzer at a time, please. This is weekend league, so you know you're going to have them. So <laughs> let's have at it. And I'm going to start out here in doubles, and I'm setting up my audibles. And, you know, like I said before my last video, I want to have an RPO, a read RPO in there. I want to have touch pass. Touch passes are good against blitzes, all-out blitzes. Single high beater and a two high beater. Don't have a run audible unless it's tied to an RPO. If I want to run the ball, I'll just come out in a run play. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to come out in mesh, see what he's doing. And I can't even get this throw off. I want to throw the triangle like right now when I see those two guys vacating all that grass and I can't do it. I didn't want to throw to the left, or to the right rather, because his user was sitting there. I had to wait for his user to, to trail the play. So I see the two blitzers coming from the left. I want to throw their hot. Can't do it. On a drag. I'm winding up and delayed throwing a drag. So we're gonna run a little Ohio concept here again. He's base aligning. I know that guy's gonna be blitzing. Just gonna do a little quick out there and we get 10 yards. Good, that's perfect. That's ideal. That's what you wanna be able to do. Touch pass, everyone's just condensed in there and he's not pursuing well with his user. And then he tries to click off because he's afraid of making user tackles. So we're doing all right so far. Let's look at his abilities. Again, it's gonna be the same look over and over again. I'm gonna block seven here, and I have post flight elite outside, so if I can get time, I can hit it, but he rushes eight. So I'm again, eight game, nothing I can do there. So, you know, you see the issues. Being able to, people bring this many people because generally speaking, they block five and six man rushes pretty well for the most part. So people figured out, well, if they're blocking, you know, five and six man rushes pretty well, and we know that the windups take, take, takes away the quick game combined with the receiver route running and all that, let's bring seven, eight, nine. So anyway, he's not playing straight man zero he's doing his stuff in the back end changing zones and all of that changing guys from man to zone and all that but still bringing you know seven plus every single time and we get the rpo there and we get on the board so you know it's gonna be a struggle same look gonna run touch pass again that's why i like to have my slot be that uh dj moore tyreek hill type again he's doing click offs Great speed. I want, my, I want my slot to basically almost be like a running back in that spot. Juke moves, spin moves, elusiveness, speed. Mesh. Again, I know i got to get it out quick. I can get the out route off, and I hit that. So I'm not doing bad. I know where the pressure is coming from. It's just a matter of what he's doing between you know zones and man and all that on open flex we have a couple of rpos in this set not much in the way of um quick game stuff and i was thinking maybe i finally got him out of the blitz here but alas i do not what am i doing here i'm getting out of that tight yeah we're running verts here i'm going to change that receiver to the left to a quick out in case it's off coverage but he's actually pressing him but i'm able to get that ball off to shannon sharp so we got a couple of quicks going there aren't a lot of them, so when you find them, you gotta use them. Clock the ball there. And outside of the uh, sack that I took, doing a pretty decent job with it. Spread wide slot, again, looking for quick stuff. It's gonna have to be an RPO or a touch pass, a slot out, a hitch, something. And again, he's doing weirdo stuff to the outside. I'd really like a tight end to be more consistent with picking that guy up. I'm able to get out of there, thankfully. He's in cover two now, so he stopped the blitzing. 
So I'm trying to punch this bad boy. I'm gonna come out in four verts here. I'm, I'm anticipating cover two or cover three again. And I have to throw a high point here. I can't risk throwing a standard normal pass here with a user uh, with, a, with a lurker ability. And like an inaccurate, that's a shame. But again, I couldn't risk a bullet pass there. Just couldn't risk it, or even a touch pass. So we have to settle for three. So you know, here you go. So I'm gonna call. So I'm gonna call spot here. I'm gonna change the. I'm gonna smart route the fade stop here. I'm gonna have to friggin' block everybody. I have to turn my damn slot receiver here to a damn H back to pick up the pressure. And the smart route of fade stop is nice because it simulates a back shoulder throw somewhat. And I'm able to catch that right in front of the corner. And I was able to pick up everybody. But these are the things that you have to do when they're sending eight guys. I mean, you, you, you gotta you gotta work with what you got. I don't wanna have two man routes where I have my damn slot receiver <laughs> helping out my tackle. What can you do? And same thing here, I turn this into a wheel because I wanna get him out there with some speed. And I still barely get that off. I get this stupid shuffle pass animation. I'm able to duck under with a juke animation by Marcus Allen and score that. So, again, you know, you, you kind of got to jerry-rig your own answers to this. And, you know, he's not backing off, so I got to keep on doing that. We got an INT there, so we're in a position to take, you know, good command of this bad boy. And act again. I could have thrown the drag there. I could have thrown that. I um, only blocked eight there. And there we have a freaking cavern open up. But Marcus Allen fumbles. I noticed this about Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen's been fumbling a lot lately. And that's my golden rule with Madden running backs. When they start fumbling, when that carry rating gets obsolete, get a new one. We can't have that. Just can't do it. So we're going to be shopping for a new running back very, very soon. It's been a good run, Marcus, but we can't tolerate fumbles. So anyway... We're backed up here. I'm gonna try a little um, tail RPO. Almost pop out of there. Again, a couple of yards. Just want a little bit more room to work with. And he's not relenting, so you know we gotta protect ourselves accordingly with what we have. I'm gonna dial up another touch pass here. Again, he has everyone packed in so tight. If I can get the edge block, it's just. A matter of just beating his user or one guy in, in, in the second level if he's able to get a second level at all right now it's just his user playing the second level so blocks hold nice block there he clicks off because he's afraid to make a tackle and dj moore is gonna be gone so touch pass touch pass touch pass rpo 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 block nine <laughs> and you know hope maybe throw a slant not a slant but you can throw a quick slant sometimes against some people but an outside drag you might have success with. Um, slot outs and hitches. Outside hitches too at times. That's really pretty much it. Your options against these crazy blitzes are just so limited because why not make the throwing motion slow on even check down routes and the check down routes that you have at your disposal, most of them aren't run very quickly. We have to struggle to just swing the ball to a back hot. That's an issue. And that's got to change, so more to come. That won't be the last psychotic butzer I face. And I hope this series is helping you guys out a little bit as far as um, learning how to run the air raid, what the offense is about, being able to execute it, and trying new stuff this late in the year. And I hope it's informative and helpful. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will talk to y'all laters. Peace.